hey guys what's up so in this video today i'm going to be showing you some of my tips and tricks that i've learned recently throughout this entire month of bitwars being released so i recommend you to stick to the end because um, you wouldn't want to miss what i'm recording right now because it could be really useful to your gameplay or i don't know so we'll find out so without without any further ado let us get straight into the video all right, so now we have spawned in the battlefield, and the first thing you want to do is basically get iron and get wool because that's like what you should get in the early game, and it's recommended for all players to do so. So I'm going to be going over a few tips in this, but for now I would only include how to properly defend your bed, whether armor or swords are worth it, and just brushing. So basically that's all. So let's just start with defending your bed. So. The way, the way how you want to defend your bed is you just want to start off by putting two blocks to the left and the right, two blocks to the top and bottom part, and two blocks to the top, just like this. But this defense is actually not enough because just one mine from here and the enemy can easily break your bed. So what I recommend you doing is to basically reinforce it. So like, make it like one layer extra so the enemy would have to break at least two blocks to get through. And this is probably a good defense also because you are so far away from your iron generator that by the time your teammates notice as a name tag it wouldn't be too late i would say but if the enemy does has better tools then you would be practically dead so yeah that's all about bit defending and yes okay so now we're back and i'm gonna do a quick discussion about armor real quick so a lot of people say, are armor worth it? And to me, I would say yes, because um, after you buy armor, the enemies will practically deal less damage to you, and it will give you more chance to sustain more. So I believe that after you get your Team Gen 1, your first priority is to get this leather armor or wooden armor. Because this can actually be very useful in fights, because early game, not many people choose to buy armor, because they, they will usually go for their bit defense or more blocks to bridge to the middle. So yeah, that's all about armor basically. Okay, so now let's talk a let's talk a bit about swords. So some people might ask, are swords worth it? What is the use of swords? So swords is actually a really good way of how to defend. Like look at this man. He just decides to come and invade. But then when I have my sword with me, the guy's bow spamming real quick, just so just gotta defend myself. So basically you just got a tank for them. So as you can see right there, there's a bow spammer right there. So as you can see, the sword can deal a lot of damage at the same time. So look at that. Well, basically, that was probably dream right there, but I just managed to kill him with the sword. And yeah, so that's the point of the sword. Well, a quick reminder is that when you are in PvP fights or in 1v2 situations, don't attempt to thing that you can kill two of them at once because one swing only counts for one player so it's not two players and i forgot to tell you that you need a high clicks per second to in order to win a fight like as you can see right there dream seems to be coming if i'm not wrong so we're probably gonna die here but hopefully he goes for other bases first and i believe he's going for yellow now which is good and yeah so that's basically all about swords too Okay, so right now we are actually going to plan to rush. So the first person you will want to rush is basically anybody around your base. But just don't go for the ones that are too far away. Like for example, I'm going to target blue right here. Because um, let's say I have 2 TNT and their players, their teammates are actually quite getting pretty stacked. So I'm going to have to end them here. Alright, so right here is actually Dream, but he probably has his bow ready, so I'm just gonna save tower all the way there because I need to take out Dream's bit like, like right now. So I'm gonna drop one piece of TNT there, then it should blow him up. I should drop two for extra coverage. I'm just gonna do that, and get this one. So just like that. So that is also how you rush. 
and it's also probably one of the most um, guaranteed tactics tactics to destroy a team's bid because it's, it's just so OP that they can't resist their TNT basically so TNT is also something you must look after for And so guys, that was basically all for it for this video and if you find it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to this video with notifications on if you want to see more future videos. So I think that, that would be it for now. I'll probably make a part 2 or I don't know. So yeah, bye for now.